In this weekly forex forecast, we're looking into gold, silver, euro, Aussie, pound, dollar, you name it. We're looking into where's the market going to move this week. And remember to absolutely smash that like button. And on Wednesday, there's the big news. Let's see what that is. So how it did really last week go for us. Um, as a trader, I said I was going to buy last week's open. I did. And I entered another trade, as I told you guys. But then we all saw price moving lower. Well, oh, it is what it is. It is, it is what it is. is. <laughs> also on Aussie, I had an entry around here. And as you can see, it fell down. Woohoo! <laughs> Trading Forex is risky, not appropriate for everyone, as past performance is not indicative of future results. Whatever has happened in the past does not need to happen into the future. As we're looking into DXY and where we're looking into where the market is going at the moment, what is the market really doing? We have had a pretty a lot dollar bearishness lately, then we have some cons consolidation, and then now are we at a higher high spot? On daily no that is not a high or high four hour we have not a high or high so have, have we just broken out of a range or are we just in the same range still well I believe we are actually gonna fall more so if we're going higher now cool I'm still going to look for this one to reverse back down again reasons why Fundamental analysis. Where is the trend going? We are still headed lower. We are consolidating, yes, but this does not tell me that we are supposed to go higher. It just only tells me that we are pausing out. So I'm still seeing that. Coming into seasonality for Euro, we are supposed to go higher in the beginning. We didn't. Uh, we are supposed to fall this week. And sure did. I was wrong. Okay. And then we are supposed to consolidate. The first attempt to go higher is 15th of June. Then 25th of June. Hmm. So which day is it coming in this week? 15th. Hmm. Which day is on Monday? Is it 15th? 14th? Something around there. And then we are supposed to go higher in July. Now. That means this one falling either this week or next week. So, which news are we looking into for this week? We're looking into the Fed meeting and Wednesday at around 8 p.m. my time. Then, that is the most important news for this week and I'm probably going to have it live coverage on YouTube. Here we are. Coming into Euro dollar for this coming week, I hope to see that we can go higher and higher from this week, either this week or next week. That's why I have these two arrows. And you might ask, Evan, you're crazy, but how can it rise from a lower low? Well, let's go check it out. Around 2017, around this time, we had a low, a low, a low before it rose. Does that indicative that it's gonna happen this year? No, but I'm just mentioning it to you, a lower low around this time of year is not indicative of it falling down like a rocket, okay? Like a stone, sorry. 2018, same level, does make a low, but does not fall down like a stone. 2019, makes a low, doesn't fall like a stone. It even goes higher after that. And then 2020, we have one low, two low, three low, and then it slowly turns higher again. That is what I want us to do to look for. Is it going to go higher or is it going to go lower? I think it still can go higher, though it all depends on the Fed. What are they going to do? Coming into this year, we already have three lower lows. Okay. Not dramatically falling. Not like, whoa, what, a, what amazing trade to the downside. I would be very disappointed if this was a trade to the downside, by the way. So, I'm going to look for double bottom, higher high, higher low situation, going higher. I would first target 122 
55, and then 12380, 12, up here. As my previous target, we're still on it. Coming into the Australian dollar, US dollar, I hope to see some of the same situation that we are currently at support, not a lower low. It's just, uh, yeah. So am I gonna buy this one? I'm gonna buy a little, if I can get it reversed back up again. But if it falls down a bit more, well, who am I to care? And this is currently range trading. And since it's range trading, I'm going to do range trading rules. I don't trade in those rules. True. So I will probably not actually trade it with my actual trading account. Maybe paper trading, demo trading. Have you ever thought about that one? Cool. Targets are still up to 79 or 80. So depending of how good we get it, that this week or next week is the probable week is going to go higher. Well, we're only going to see, right? We don't know. And then our, that is my plan. Do I think it's going to fall? No. Pound dollar is also another one in this situation here. We have a range. As dollar is ranging, pound is also ranging because there is a dollar in this currency pair. So, until then, we are still on this level here, and we still want to go up to 144. Is this likely? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is. So, I am going to take it higher, and I'm going to wait for it to break higher, and then I'm going to take it. If this breaks lower, I'm going to be... I'm going to be... Adios, amigos. See you later, alligator. Eh? So... Um, I'm not going to trade this one. I'm just going to look for it to go higher. And second analysis tells me this is range bound. So I have no business to make here. Only trade biases. Only trade the market conditions you are comfortable in. I'm not comfortable in this trading system. In this trading market. Coming to COT report. I'm not going to mess around. The most important change is that shorts has been trimmed on JPY. The other one and Aussie has been has been increasing shorts. That's the only thing. The other ones are yeah small changes here and there, but for the most part is that it has been more risk on. We have also seen that in the market, but those are the major finds. After that, you can go check the COT reports, and I will do that in my fundamental analysis live tomorrow with the membership students. Cool, great. British pound, Japanese yen. What is this? This is an uptrend. Is this a lower low? Yes. Do I like it? Yes. It's kind of where I wanted it to go. Did it have a nice reaction to it? Yes, it had. I actually made a trade plan. I wanted it to make a double bottom, higher high, higher low. So around 54.22, you are allowed to look for buys. Though that is only my personal opinion. My personal opinion only. That's all. And if it goes higher, high, woohoo! And if it goes lower, low, woo! So, what is your risks? This is your M2. This is where you would look to buy, generally speaking, this week. And if you don't get it, then you don't get it. And if it falls further, then it wasn't your week. Okie dokie, nothing else. Other than that, you're hoping for this one to reverse back up again. All right, and that is the best price. That's only. What's the target, might 156, I think, back up to the previous high for the for the medium term at least. And then we shall see if we can get more. And is this a week it will push? Well, it has a chance. And that's all. New Zealand dollar, US dollar, where we have a pair that is at the bottom of the range. Maybe it can touch this low here before going higher. Probably a way better situation. Coming up to 73 minimally, I think the target for this long term is 78, if I don't remember wrongly, by the um, by ING or Westpac, sorry. So first target is 73 and then 78. And we don't have the range, we don't have the trend, we don't have the market conditions. This is a range, we are at the bottom of it. That's not where I'm hoping to buy. We need to be bullish. So can you buy here? Yes, you can. But it's not a high probability trade setup. So I will pass. 
The other situation is if you get a higher high, you start doing that, then cool, you can start engaging again. But other than that, this is probably the best area to buy, but it's not bullish. So you take the do you take the call? I won't. Uh, USD CAD has now a higher high. This is a higher high. This is the only one that is as as bearish. Um, this is the only one where dollar is the strongest. And can this fall from here? Yes, it can. But it can also come back in July. Okay, July, July. And is this a turn where it has gone too fast, too far? Yes, I think it does. Am I gonna buy this one? Absolutely not. Why, you might ask. But you have, there's pips. What if it falls from here and then makes a lower low? And I look like a lunatic because I think that technically it can go higher, but fundamentally it's supposed to go lower. So those are colliding at the moment. I can't do anything. My hands are tied. I need to wait. And by the way, it can actually come up to this level here around 122.50. Probably a good area to look for it. And if it makes a lower low, I'm going to take the pullback. And we'll look like a champion on my on my chart because it's gonna be amazing. Um, or my trading statement, sorry. Now, what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see what the Fed says. If that creates the bad dollar bearishness, I'm gonna sell it. And if it doesn't, then I have lost absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing. If I lose money in this one, I will look like a lunatic, lunatic, lunatic. So if you go into oil as well, but this is way more bullish, way more bullish, okay? And somebody asked me, can this go to 73? Absolutely, yes, this can go to 73. But I have a couple of levels for you, okay? These are the levels I would love price to come down to so we can take it higher. It doesn't mean it will go down to that level. I'm just saying it can, and if it does, I will, I, you should take it probably. But if it doesn't, don't be sorry. So you have two lines of, uh, two lines of attack today. One and two, right? Two, 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 two. One is buy the support when it comes to support, okay? So when is support, this is support, this is support, this is support, okay? That is one. The other strategy is to wait for it to come down to 67 or 65. And then you look like a champion because you picked up the bottom and you picked it higher. Cool. Great. Now, I think it's a bit high. I think it's a bit overextended. Technically, we are like, you know, stretching the neck up higher. So, you know, also to mention, we are at the target for the month. So, um, it can fall. Okay. And falling might actually make it a better um structure to the higher side what is the target i don't know the reason why it rose now back on uh, last week now was because of the cpi number and frantically telling you guys it can go higher from that because it has to not price in the new cpi so yeah there you go silver coming into silver 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 um uh, yeah, this one is a stranger one, you know, strange kids. Some, you know, we have, we some, some of us have some strange siblings, and this is the strange sibling. The reason why is because so it's so different to gold. You know, gold is like that, and silver is like this. Silver is way more range bound. Range, it had a low, came back up, came all the way down again, even made a lower low, and then it higher. Okay, so what do we do with the drunken sailor? This is really a drunken sailor. So, uh, yeah, cool. Now, you want it to go higher from here. I don't know if you have any buys in these levels, but this might not. This might be the time where it goes higher from, but I don't see any trend. I'm not really bullish on this one right now. You might have to wait until 15th or 21st of June, 22nd of June, sorry before it actually kicks off. So today on Monday is the first one. It can go higher from. Other than that, congratulations higher. 
Coming into gold, let's go into gold and its seasonality. Okay, so we are looking into gold having a potential low at around 13th of June, which is this Monday, or around 22nd or 23rd, 22nd or 23rd of June, which is next week. So the first potential uh, low is on Monday. Is this a low, by the way? Mm, yeah, I thought. It is kind of a low. I don't like the low. We keep coming eat cake. But if it goes higher from here, okie dokie. I can take the pullback. Other than that, I have mentioned 1863, 1830, 1837, and 1763. I don't think that it's going to happen. But if we have a flash crash, you never know. So. Line of attack on gold is we need better price action. We need more conviction to the higher side. We need to either break this high or break lower, make a double bottom, higher high, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low situation, more like that. So we kind of need to either go ex way more lower or go higher again. It's because current support is not support. It's already been here and it's kind of a range so it's very scratching the head what are we gonna do what does the gold market tell me it tells me i don't know that's what the gold market tells me so we are supposed to have a low either now or next week so we're gonna be patient we're gonna be <sighs> take some uh, drinks and move forward to Waiting another day, come back and maybe at the evening on Monday, evening on Tuesday, evening on Wednesday. How are we going to trade gold on, on, the, on, the, on the FOMC meeting? Join me on the live and I will try to help you out. On the other side of this, that is the, that is the goal of 2000, I think it is. Currently 2000 still the goal. Didn't make it. 2000 still the goal. And we still have a hundred dollars left on gold for to do that july could be spectacular either to downside or upside i hope it will be upside but we are not buying in a range we're not buying in a bearish market this is kind of a range kind of passing just wait for it to make a higher high then we will take it all right okie dokie cool so what are we going to do now i'm going to be live with the youtube members at 1700 I'm going to be live on YouTube at 19.30, maybe. There's still some things in the way, so we shall see if that works out. And if not, don't lose money, you can afford to lose. Don't trade too much. I want you to trade with me for the next 20 to 30 years. So don't make mistakes that will not enable you to become an expert that you always are supposed to be, okay? Cool. Until then.